You can't continue like this. People will think you're possessed. Parts. Totally absurd. I was thinking of my mother. Pinky. Dad, why did I let you talk me into this summer camp? The same girls I've been looking at all year. It was either this or eight more weeks of school. Hey, you guys, wait up. You didn't tell me that there weren't going to be any boys around for 100 miles. 100 miles or one foot. <laughs> you wouldn't know what to do with or for a boy. <laughs> Why am I always carrying your junk? Oh, I'm sorry, Buffy. Besides, I'm the one who's suffering, not you. All semester long, I got laid only once. And now eight more weeks? It's just not fair. Yeah, but that one time was with the entire first string of the varsity team at Mills. Only seven. The other four were too drunk. You should have been there. I wish I had been. Hey. That tough friend stood on that meat bike. He's one of the four I missed. Maybe, just maybe, I won't arrive at Camp 40 after all. See ya. Hey, you think the other three will be coming? No, Buffy, he's the only one coming. Oh, there will be one other coming. But Tanya will miss the bus. I'll catch up with you guys later at camp. I swear. Welcome to Camp Townsend. Now, I'm sure you're all tired after the long bus ride, but if you'll just wait a moment, I'll be back with your requested cabin assignments. Wait here! Girls, come on now. Wait here. I'll be right back. Stay by the bus. So anyway, I heard this place is pretty neat. I mean, maybe if we're lucky, we might be able to get one of the counselors in the sack. He's a hunk. That's nothing. I was doing it to Mr. Bear all semester. Oh, Buffy, really? Well, just how do you think I graduated with honors? I just wondered about that. That's beautiful. You and Mr. Bear? How'd you do it? That's fantastic. Do you kiss you, too? Isn't that a stupid question? I mean, what difference does it make if he kissed her or not if they did it? Okay, girls, I'm Vance Carlson, and I'm camp director here at Townsend. Now, I have just a couple of brief questions, and then you'll be in your cabins. Uh, who is Kathy Murat? Murat? I am. Uh, Kathy, I'd like to see you in the office when we break here. Mr. Carson, if it's about my transfer slip, no? And who is Mariam Kester? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Earth to Castor, you're being paged. Me? That's me. Uh, you're the young lady who's going to help our new counselor with his English? Yes, sir. Good. His name is Fleming Larson, and you'll be meeting him in the morning. Thank you, sir. Spacey. Okay, now. <laughs> cabin number six. Carla Miller, Teresa Gibson, Shirley Waters, Linda Mason. Cabin number eight. Joyce Barber, Jackie Hanover, Sarah Corbin, and Alex Wilmot. Walk, please. Oh, here they are. Okay, every morning exercise from 6.30 to 7. That's with Brian Hilton. He's the cute counselor with the big brown eyes. See, then we've got breakfast, and then a whole lot of options. There's uh, pot making, creative dancing, lapidary classes, self-improvement, diving instruction, flower arranging. God, that's boring. Oh, you've got to see this. You're not going to believe what I have. Come on, come on, it's great. I hope it's not, but there's no room in here. Ta-da! Isn't that just gorgeous? Wonderful. What do we do with it? What are you doing with it? Well, Buck had to get back to work, and I didn't have a way up here. So he's coming up day after tomorrow to drive it back, and he's coming with a friend. I want to go with you. Forget it. Sandy's going. You don't have any experience. What do you mean I don't have any experience? I got plenty. Oh, please. I don't want to hear that phony Mr. Barrett story again. You mean that was a lie? All lies. Ignore her. Look. This is what we can do. We pack a lunch, then Tuesday morning we inconspicuously drive this cutie up the driveway. Now, just wait a minute. I've had it. I can get laid by any counselor here, just like Mr. Barrett and me. You guys stick around after exercise class tomorrow, and I'll show you what I can do. Ignore her. Look, after we get on the road, there's a little spot a couple of miles down. There's a garage there and everything, and they'll be waiting for us. Oh, let's hide this thing in the woods, okay? Okay, wait, I'll get a blanket. Are you going to be there or not? I'll be there. I promise. Okay, everybody reach up now. Reach, 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 reach. Up, up, higher, higher. Reach, reach. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Reach, 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 reach. Higher and higher. Okay, now let's do some swing throughs. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Up. Down, up, 
down, up, down. Okay, a few of your girls on the end. Why don't you form a second row back there, everybody down in your butts, for some leg work. Legs up, out together, out together, out together, out together, out together, out together, out together. Keep it going. Keep it going. Harder. Harder. Out together. Out together. Okay, that was a good workout. Breakfast in half an hour. Your first class is at 9 o'clock. With the exception of our late arrival in the first row, class dismissed. You made yourself quite conspicuous. Front row, no less. I hope you didn't get mad. No, of course not. It's quite common the first day. Common? You mean this happens all the time? Mm-hmm. But at least you just took your place in the front row with no excuses. It showed me that you have a little maturity. You're not going to be a little teenage girl that I have to worry about. Well, you won't have to worry about me at all. Good. This will be good for you, then. Oh, I know. I just hope it'll be good for you, too. Oh, it's great for me. But with 30 girls, uh, I must maintain a rigid schedule of instruction. 30 girls? Rigid schedule? I won't need any instruction. I've done it before. Everyone needs instruction on physical fitness, slowly easing the body to its maximum potential. Oh, my God, you're blind. <laughs> yes, yeah, I am. Now, do we try to be here on time? No more tardiness? Yeah. Good. I have been here three months from Denmark now. But I learned very slow. Oh, no, I think you're doing very well. You really are. I think we should start this morning with some simple reading and conversational, and then go on to enlarging your vocabulary in a week or so. I see you're reading Summer Harris. Yeah, I... Oh. 2020. <laughs> However, I only see what I want to see. And when I want to see it. And, uh... I'd like to see a little more of what you were showing me earlier. But... But... Oh, there are too many people around during the exercises. People? Girlfriends, friends, damn it. Hey, come on, I want to show you something. Hmm? Oh, there's a nice private utility shed right up here. Does this mean I won't have to exercise every day? <laughs> Different muscles, Buffy. Different muscles. It was the 7th of October on a cold winter day. They gathered their muskets and went on the way. By the rude bridge that asked the flood, the flags to April breeze unfurled. Here once the embattled farmer stood and fired the shot heard round the world. English is very good. I don't want to hear any more talk about how poorly you're doing. So let's continue. Yes, Miss Kester. The fires are out, the soldiers gone home. 10,000 remain dry to the bone. Don't forget, I don't have to exercise at 6.30 in the morning. No, Buffy, you don't. But sometime this week, we gotta work on your jaw muscles. Oh, Brian, I want the strongest mouth in the camp. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Just me. No money. No suitcase. No ticket. <laughs> and no first prize. <laughs> Homo favorite teacher. <laughs> Better be careful. If anyone should see you, they'd call you teacher's pet. Pet? They would sing on the teacher's dock? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Pet in this usage means favorite. 
teacher's favorite. Favorite? Teacher's favorite? I like that. Here, let me get you another apple. <laughs> no more playing around now. Back to work. Formation of plurals and participles. In comparisons of adjectives and adverbs. This just isn't gonna work. It's all bare necessities. We have to eat and we have to have music. We have to have Vaseline? Who knows? I know you guys won't believe me. You didn't see us go into the storage shed. Maybe if we took less beer. Even so, I brought some things that might convince you. One of them is a hair. It's a pubic hair. We just can't carry all this stuff. This will really do it for you. This is conclusive proof that Counselor Hilton and I made out. Conclusive proof. Perfect. Elastic. Great. Well, we can put it around like this and carry it all in a backpack. <laughs> I make a better counselor than a student. It's not true. I wish we could continue, but I guess I should attend to my classes. Yes, and I have work. But tomorrow we will continue. We could meet after breakfast. Oh, man, you're full. attention now later this afternoon we'll be taking a short walk most of these specimens will be easily spotted however some of the trees cannot be found 50 miles from here can anyone tell me why because of the tremendous winds last spring that's right Gail the winds were so strong that our terrain may be altered for years to come this is a result of the strong wind condition. Uh, well, why don't we uh, pass these around? Uh, on page 20, you can see the early shoots of the white moss fern. Now, these ferns are very common here now, whereas last year, they could hardly be found. It's open. Oh, hi, Buffy. Aren't you feeling well? Um, where are your roommates? Oh, they're gone. They won't be back for hours. Hours. Hmm. Good. And we can work on your, uh, physical education. You did well learn, didn't you? Oh, yes. You've got to be kidding. Where's Buck? And who are you? What are you? I'm Roger Dworsky. 
Buck and Mark couldn't make it. They had to work. So they asked me if I'd come down here and, like, pick up the motorcycle. So I I went to the store and I got I some stuff. I thought we'd take him you know, anyway. Take him? It looks like somebody already took most of them. The car, come on, well, Sandy. You, know, you don't want to go back to camp empty-handed, so to speak. Here. No, I don't. Let's find that garage Buck told you about. I mean, you know, with all those winding roads, you got to be real careful. So I thought, like, we'd put it on this platform and I could use these bolts that I got and be real sure because no one, you might hit a, hit a bump in the road. <laughs> hit a bump? <laughs> Further issues about usage may arise from mistaken grammatical analysis on the one hand, or the failure to distinguish what is current in informal as opposed to the formal standard language on the other. You're very different, Maria. I watch you. You dream. What do you dream about? Nothing. Everything. I want for us to make love. Marion. Marion. Yes, I would like that. Can we go to your cabin? necessary. I feel like Tweety Bird. Will you come on? No, I won't. I'm gonna walk into camp like a human being. Okay, okay, I'm here. Back now. Well, Buffy, how many counselors did you have today? Don't be silly. I have a hard enough time trying to find a boy my own age. Well, 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 could it be our little Buffy's growing up? <laughs> maybe, just maybe. We could take her with us on Friday night. That won't be necessary. Besides, I promised Mr. Hilton I'd help him with his phys ed charts. Hi, Marion. Hi, Buffy. Marion, we've decided to help you out. <laughs> yes, Friday night, the three of us leave here and join the entire football team. Full ring. No more unhealthy dreams, real guys. <laughs> no, thanks. I've already got plans to work with Mr. Larson. Oh, well, how many times can two go into 12? Wrong. How many times does 12 go into two? <laughs> God, I sure wish we could score us a counselor. I'm already getting tired of running up and down that mountain. You don't think Buffy and Miriam could have? No, nah, impossible. With counselors? No, you're right. Stupid of me to even think. No, no. 